Ukraine is becoming increasingly divided, with protesters in Kiev now demanding that the government get rid of pro-Russian activists, causing chaos in the east. The country's interim leaders have been roundly criticized by the Maidan crowd for not acting decisively in Donetsk and other cities where separatists have seized buildings. Ukrainian paratroopers have been seen taking part in military exercises near Slovyansk, one of several cities where a government ultimatum to hand over weapons was firmly ignored. But together with the belief that Russia is stirring up the unrest, pressure is increasing on the government. However, calls by interim president Alexander Turchinov for UN peacekeepers to be deployed while a referendum on the future of eastern Ukraine be held have been dismissed by activists in Slovyansk. In Donetsk, those holed up in the administrative headquarters of the province, which forms the heartland of Ukraine's heavy industry, have sought Moscow's protection if they're attacked. A move which has upped the rhetoric between Washington and Moscow, while they both claim to want a diplomatic solution. Our reporter in Donetsk says the majority of the people in this area feel they are hostages to fortune. Almost all of the official buildings of the region are being occupied by an active and organized minority, while a silent majority seems to be living passively in parallel. In Balia, degli eventi. Sergio Cantone, Euronews, Donetsk.